Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Time Spitters 2 with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. I tell you what, this uh, this background music to the uh, level selection screen oh, gets pretty creepy, you know? Pretty creepy. If we just leave it running in the background, I was just setting up for the recording, you get all these creepy, like a sort of poltergeist or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, last episode we were in Notre Dame, 1895. We helped rescue the maiden, stop Jacques de la Mort, and um, we also bumped into Quasimodo. And so in today's episode we are going way into the future, 2280, uh, to the peak of the Mox Civil War. I'm sure we'll uh, <laughs> get some information about that in a minute, but yeah, let's uh, return to Planet X. Okay, there we go. There's been a lot of UFO activity in the Gamma Sector. The Ozor and Mizor Mox have been battling to gain control of the planet for some time now. Um, there may be a concealed subterranean base. Wing Commander Hank Nova Patrol has uh, Hank Nova's patrol has engaged the alien ships. Uh, take a trip down to the surface, see what you can find. This will be a tricky mission, but the fighting between the Mox can be used to your advantage. Uh, they hate each other more than they hate you. That's good. Don't be afraid to fight for one side or the other, as long as it helps you get closer to the base. Okay, it's time to get our hands dirty in this civil war. Let's go. Wing Commander, you have veered off target. What's your status? Over. Base, the squadron's engaged with the enemy, but I've taken a direct hit. What's your damage, sir? The engine's shaky, but I'll be okay if it doesn't overheat. Uh-oh. Mayday! Mayday! Losing altitude! Commander, you just keep that bird in the air. We're sending someone to pick you up. Over and out. Oh god, okay, that's quick. Um, i got to move, straight away, because there are already UFOs shooting at us. Doesn't take long, and we don't really want to take any damage at the beginning of this level, so I'm dodging all these lasers, but the way you actually have to go is down that hole. <gasps> oh, and so starts the cool music. Seriously, I am going to say that for every level, pretty much. Oh yeah. Okay, right, let's go then. So yeah, we're on Planet X. Uh, time to have a look around this civil war between the Moxes. I don't know. <laughs> They're actually pretty funny looking. Here we are. Um, can't really get a good look at them straight away because they are trying to kill me, but we will at some point. Uh, okay, so we're equipped with just this kind of basic um, sci-fi handgun. We picked it up uh, before we dropped down. And it's pretty cool because if you haven't noticed, it does that. Oh, come on, see if I can get him on a rebound. I don't think I can. I think that's a pretty tricky thing to do. But yeah, the uh, the lasers rebound off everything. Oh, and actually they still do a little bit of damage to me. Get away, you. There we go. I actually just take taken loads of damage there. But yeah, um, in Future Perfect they have these guns as well, but they have the option to turn off this feature. So they don't always uh, bounce everywhere and just cause havoc. Look at them. Woohoo! But no such luck in Time Spitters 2. So, first thing we're going to do is pick up this bit here weapon part. Very vague, but uh, yeah, just pick it up. Well, actually, you don't have to, I'll tell you why, but um, it's it's like a sort of bonus, bonus thing you can unlock. Okay, get rid of that guy. There we go. I can't wait to get a better gun. So, they're all kind of hiding everywhere and they come out of all these little gaps and go and kill your other. No, your enemy. Stop bothering me. I'm just poor old Hank, stuck in the middle. And we're gonna drop down. I kind of like, kind of like the colours of this level, but I've I got to be honest. This isn't one of my favourites. Um, I don't know. 
Well, maybe, maybe I do know why. Um, it's just not particularly... I mean, look, it's just rocks. And usually I like rocks. You know, I've, I'm, I love rocks. Yeah, like in the uh, gun, let's play. I like canyons and things, but this isn't the same. This is supposed to be like aliens. Anyway, uh, that objective there was to repel the beach attack. That's why we've got all these here. Oh, baby. This bit's going to be really loud. <laughs> so we have these guns, which you can zoom in. And they also have rockets to fire at the UFOs or the plants in front of me. Oh dear. You can actually shoot those um, UFOs in the background and that will make these aliens spawn a little bit less. Get out of it, you. But yeah, you can just gun them down like this. Simple enough. You do run out of ammo though, eventually. It doesn't seem like you would, but you actually do these. Like that. Oh damn. Pick up that ammo, don't need it, fine. Onto this one. Look at them, follow me! Ooh. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, so you can blow them up, but <laughs> take that. But it's pretty tricky when you've got all these guys shooting at you already. Oh, and they home as well, I didn't even realise that. Oh yeah, look, of course they do, they've got little targets on them. Oh, okay. As you can see up there, um, there was like a little laser grid that was uh, blocking us. Just over there. But oh my god, peace and quiet at last. <gasps> oh, just seeing if I need any ammo, but I don't think I do. So yeah, that bit's kind of I don't know. That's maybe a reason why I don't like this level, is because it's that's a bit lame. Just like standing still and then shooting them as you, you know. It was almost like a sort of weird alien version of D-Day there. Or just, yeah, and it, it actually was, because look, this is a beach. Look at that. Except the uh, the aliens were spawning in. I don't think that actually happened back in 1940. Odd. Okay, uh, if we go through here, <laughs> this bit's pretty random. Is he going to come out? Oh, look at him! <laughs> There's one little um, mox who's had enough. He's had enough of this civil war. I think he, he either wants to go just walk into the sea and be done with everything, or he's just having a little bit of a, a mental breakdown, a little panic attack. But he just does a little circle and then he's just fine. He's fine. And <laughs> now we can get a proper look at them. <laughs> I love the eyes. The eyes are great. Look at that. <laughs> That's such a good design. I don't think they're in the third game. I don't think so. Or maybe they are. I can't remember. But yeah, there he is. I'm not even going to kill him. You can kill him, but you know what? I think he's had enough. Let's just get on with it. Poor guy. Go see a psychiatrist or something. Um, so yeah. Uh, I really like the music, but I can't say I'm a fan of the level in terms of like the looks. I mean, yeah, giant glowy mushrooms. That's a staple. Oh, and I especially don't like these things. Where are they? Woo! Space bees. There's no point even trying to kill these. You can. But they're just an... Oh, God. And they are... Look, they are space bees. Listen. Oh, oh, they're not buzzing. Usually they buzz. Look at them. Creepy little fat things. Get away. Oh, God. There's loads of them. Yeah, screw that. I'm going. Hmm. Oh, God. They're following me. Nope. Yeah, but I don't like those. No way. Oh, God. We, we needed that armor right there. Whew. And so this part, this is actually quite funny because uh, this part, oh, and there was a second weapon part, by the way. And if you pick up both of them, you get this, the homing launcher. And the reason why I said it's not particularly important if you don't get these parts is because the homing launcher isn't really that good, to be honest. Like, you're just best off with this gun, which we just picked up. Uh, that one, I can't remember what it's called now, but this one's much better. Autoplasma rifle, something like that. That sounds about right, because that sounds like something from the third game. But now we've just got to do another sort of repel. Fight off the... What was it? Uh, fight off the raid. So first it was a rebel, or repel, and now it's just fight off the raid. Mm. Which simply means hover around this area and kill them when they spawn in. So exactly the same thing, except we're not behind a turret this time. Uh... But this gun's much better because it's got 
a grenade launcher. And it's got a really... Well, it doesn't have to reload. I suppose the first one didn't either, but this one packs a bit more of a punch to it. I'm going to die, though? Holy crap, I've not been paying attention. This level is pretty tricky, I suppose. If you want to call that a bonus, although I like games that are easy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I was going to say, this part's quite funny, because... I remember way back in the future armor let's play I did, I said um, there's a level where he plays Bender, and it has this uh, this wonky UFO in it, and I said that reminds me of a level from Time Spits 2, and it was this level, Return to Planet X. It reminds me of because that that UFO right over there is all wonky, and you do eventually go in there. Okay, so we've now um, done that, stop the raid. Now they're starting to fight between themselves. There's a civil war in action right here. Apart from that guy. Get a life, guy. Go go shoot your own enemy, not me. And the UFO starts by attacking me, even though I just protected you. Everything's against me. Oh, God, I'm running. So we need to get inside the UFO by running towards the teleport blob. Gas pool. Woohoo! And now we're inside. This bit I like because it's wonky. And the, the screen is actually wonky, which gives a really sort of disorienting effect. I like that. It's cool. Uh, and we're in here to actually find a little hole to fall down. Now here's the thing. If you played this on easy, the time crystal would be here. And you, you could walk through the, t uh, the time portal, and that would be the end of the level. It will be a really short level. But, because we're on normal, you get a ton more to do in the level. Like, just as much more to do. So you definitely want to play this on normal, because you miss out on so much if you don't. It's crazy. So yeah, this would be where it ends normally on, on the easy mode. But we're not on easy, so we're going to fall down here and get a checkpoint. And hopefully, oh god, give me some armour. I think there's some this way. If you go towards... which way did I fall down? Go towards the right? Uh oh. Give me that armour. I need it. It's just down here. Oh, thank god. Right. We're, we're okay now. We're okay. I can relax. So this is where... It gets a little bit, sort of, I got really lost when I first played this level. And the funny thing is, I can't really remember this part of the level too much playing it from years ago. I mean, I obviously did play it on normal mode at some point, but I really can't remember this half of it. Huh. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is where um, we see the fighting in action. Are they going to, oh no, they're still aiming at me, screw you guys. Sometimes they're aiming, oh, they might do now, come on, shoot each other. You know you want to. I'll take that. Go on. What the hell shoot me now? Ooh. There you go, look at that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna keep moving though, otherwise I will die. Goodbye. <laughs> Just gonna walk past him. Oh, you had to ruin it, didn't you? Screw you. But this part I do like because I've been very mixed in this episode, haven't I? I like this part, I don't like this part. Uh, overall, it's okay this level, it's just not my favourite. But I like this part because you're going past the previous bits you've been to. It's like you're doing a little backtrack between the whole of the level. You need to die. Stop it. Give me this. That's where they are. Are these bees after me? Oh god, they are. So we're going to go through here and, and look. See, we're going to go... Well, there's not a good example, but just over here. Eh, yeah, eh. Yeah. I think this is where we started off, actually. In fact, it is. This is where we started the level. Um, so we're going to backtrack all the way around the side mm -hmm. to ba -ba -ba -bum, this kind of secret base bit. Now there is a turret there, but we don't want to go in that one. We want to go to the second one, so we skip the first, we go straight across uh, into this second turret. This one, because got to shoot down, I think it's 15 UFOs from the sky. Now pay attention to how this UFO, not UFO, this gun works, how it shoots. Look at that, did you see that? That's some really nice attention to detail there, the way that each little bit is moving in a circle. Yeah, they didn't have to do that, they could have just had a normal cannon. And then the, whole, the longer you hold it down, the closer it gets to the screen, like it's overheating. I don't know, I just thought that was a nice bit of detail. So, um, I suppose it's <laughs> it's good that they did this, because this part's actually quite boring. There's no 
no sort of challenge whatsoever. These UFOs just come right across your screen and you just spam the, the, the shoot button. So it's distracting us from what is otherwise quite a lame part of this mission. Oh. Anyway, we're in gun... No, 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 not, not turrets, sorry. Gun pods. That's much more science-y. Gun pod AA2. Come on, die. There you go. That was the last one. We will turn off that camera. Cool design, though. Actually, that reminds me of... No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I was going to say that reminds me of Alien, but that really doesn't. Like the chair with the big alien. I said that in the future armor let's play as well. Man, I just talk in cycles, don't I? Anyway, now that door's unlocked. Just out here, I think. Oi. Oh no, god, that's not a door. <laughs> See, I'm getting lost still. Where the hell did I just go? No! Yeah, okay, god, I am getting really lost. Right, this is a door that just opened, and now we've found our way into the UFO base. God, stupid Planet X, what a terrible holiday. Uh, and this part is obviously where they're making all the UFOs, but also it really reminds me of that level from Future Perfect. Um, something to crow about, I think it was called. Like where it has all these handrails, and especially the colour. It's really orange. Yeah, I like that. So, unfortunately we can't blow up these UFOs. We're just going to move on. We're just going to move on. Two... A really big one. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Actually, screw that. We're going to go straight through. Okay. Into uh, that UFO. Oh, my God. Let me out of the... Oh, my God. Ah! That's not fair. It just spawn camped me. Damn time splitters. Into the uh, the nice straightened UFO. And we're going to grab the time crystal. There we go and jump through the time portal before I die. Where is it? There we go. Oh man, that was actually quite, look how much health I had, buddy, hell, that was close. But there you go, we returned to Planet X, hopefully we got the hell out of there. Aha, so we unlocked Ozor Mox. Again, another character that we probably killed. We don't know how many there were of them, but we killed a lot. Uh, so yeah, we can play as a googly-eyed... In fact, they look a bit like Abe from Abe's Odyssey. There you go, that's who they remind me of. Anyway. Oh, no. Next episode is going to be... 2019 in Neo-Tokyo. Some people say this is the most difficult level in the game. Fortunately for us, we're not going to play it on hard mode. But still, let's see how it goes. Oh. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!